What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good YouTube stuff. But today we are taking a look at another Glee performance. Uh, so far, I have seen uh, Uptown Girl with Grant Gustin and Kurt Mega, and that was so much fucking fun to watch. That was so much fun. But a lot of people are telling me that their version of No Doubts Don't Speak is also really, really good. And I personally love No Doubt. I will listen to them all of the time. Uh, it's 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 so fun. You know, it's it's, it's ska. It's such a such a such a fun genre of music to listen to like ska or punk you know like 90s punk um so yeah i'm really excited because i am such a big fan of this song uh but i am a little apprehensive for the exact same reason i want to make sure that they do it justice because it is such a good track and such such a such a such a song that i have like a lot of memories attached to so here's hoping that it's good. It's Glee, so hopefully it's just good songs and not a lot of drama. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, Kurt, I was with someone. Darren! So you sure you and that Brody guy are just friends? Look, I told you. Just everything... please, please, don't lie to me. Oh, no. I couldn't get in touch with you, okay? I, I, you weren't answering my oh, calls or my drama. text messages. I didn't know where you were, or even if you were okay. So you were with him. I kissed him, but that's it, okay? And only just because you told me that you wanted me to be I can't free. believe I even said that. I'm so stupid. It was Sebastian, wasn't it? No, it, it wasn't Sebastian, but it doesn't... It didn't mean anything. It was just a hookup, okay? And who was it? It doesn't matter who it was with, Kurt. What matters is that I was by myself. I needed you. I needed you around, and you weren't there. And I was lonely, and I'm... I'm really sorry. You don't think that I've been lonely? God. You don't think that I've had temptations, but I didn't act on it because I knew what it meant. It meant something horrible and awful. I'm so sorry, Kurt. I really am. Oh, thank you, Son. Thank you for getting me out of that. We used to be together Every day together Always I really feel that I'm losing my best friend. I can't believe this could be the end. It looks as though you're letting go. And if it's real, well, I don't want to know. Don't speak. I know just what you say. Pretty good. So please stop explaining. Don't tell me cause it hurts. Don't speak. I know what you're thinking. I don't need your reasons. Don't tell me cause it hurts. Our memories. Well, they can be inviting, but some are all together mighty. Yeah? Shit, yeah. I, aside from all the drama and that was at the beginning of this, I really enjoyed that performance. Like, way to go, Glee. So far, we're two for two. Um, Let's go ahead and get big. You know, it's so funny. This performance reminded me both why I started watching Glee and why I loved Glee 
and why I stopped watching Glee. Uh, <laughs> like the musical numbers draw you in because they're so good and then the drama just gets so unbearable and it's so unnecessary that it just, it's begging you to stop watching. And this had both. It was crazy. Uh, Kurt, I swear to God, that guy, I'm pretty sure that's his name. He is just a walking drama machine. That, at least what I remember from the first season, season and a half of Glee. Uh, I, I love seeing Darren though, like it's so far in Uptown Girl and in this, he just, he looks so presentable. He looks so like ready to go. He's got slicked back hair, even like his pajamas with like the pins or the, like the, the, the striping on it, the big white buttons, it's like Jesus, man. Like what is Darren Chris's story in Glee? Cause I feel like he has to come from money. Like I feel like his family has a lot of money and I bet that that is referenced in the show. That's my bold Glee prediction. Um, but this this arrangement though, this, this number, the last two and a half minutes of it, was great. It was awesome. I loved the duets. Like the, uh, the Kurt and Leah Michelle one, when they were first coming out, I think they were walking uh, like on a street or on a sidewalk. That was excellent. That was beautiful. Their voices, went so well together. But I feel like this had a lot of duets, whether it was, you know, Kurt and Leah Michelle, or Finn and Leah Michelle, or Kurt and Darren, like there were a lot of duets. And with what was going on, I guess it does make sense with, you know, the two different couples and all of that stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I really dug it. The, you know, the arrangement, the instrumentation, the singing, like all of that was very well done. I thought Uptown Girl was a little overproduced. It sounded a little auto tuney to me, but this one really didn't, like not at all. Um, and I loved kind of like slowing it down even a little bit from like the don't speak that I remember, which it's not like necessarily a fast song, but I feel like in this arrangement, they slowed it down even a little bit more, which really led to like the power at the end when everybody was laying down and like those harmonies, like that was literally like a wall of sound just coming at you. And it sounded so good. And it reminds you just why Glee won so many, you know, like Emmys back in the day for best original songs or Grammys. I'm sure they won quite a few Grammys, uh, but it, it makes sense. I don't know who arranged the music in Glee, but I would be very interested to see what else they have done. If they did, I'm sure Broadway, I'm sure they must have done some things for Broadway, or maybe it was all TV, I don't know. Uh, but if you know, please let me know in the comments. I really, really liked this. So if you guys also have any suggestions for you know new Glee songs to do, again, preferably after the first season and a half, so I haven't seen them, please let me know that down in the comments as well, because I think that these Glee performances are going to be something that I react to for a while because there's got to be quite a few of them. But if I'm going to do that, I need good recommendations. And that's where you come in. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have an excellent rest of your day. And I will see you in a reaction very soon.